Hello everyone, Josh is back. Welcome back to another episode of Max Pain 1. I, uh, was not expecting the painkillers in that one room, not gonna lie. I forget if you can actually blow that up, I'm just trying. Doesn't look like I can, so I'm gonna stop wasting ammunition. Um... Okay. Let's, uh, you know, you know, this is a great place to, you know, start a new part. You know, I, al I already killed these guys, but it, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, everything is fine. Very, very sloppy play from me, but everything is good. We already saw this, so I'm just gonna skip past that. See if I can get lucky and get the painkillers in one of those uh, boxes again. Yeah, okay. We're good. Let's actually use, you know, the quick save function as it's meant to be used, and then we're just gonna go deep. We're not actually going to go deep. Fuck my ass. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try to be safe with the shotgun. Yeah, okay. This, this, this works. Yeah, okay. Much, much better. Much more effective. No more dumbass strats. More painkillers. Just keep blowing, you know, just keep smashing the crates. Yeah, this is a good way to actually get ammunition and stuff. The hitbox on the pipe itself is actually a little wonky, like... You'll eventually, you know, hit what you're, you know, aiming for, but... He kind of just flails a you know, flails around. Just one more box right there. Doesn't have anything inside. Alright. So that means we have to go this way. Okay. Hold it. That was such a bad shot. Wow. Alright, we're good, though. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. Hello. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Interesting. We can actually pick that up. Yeah, we have a baseball bat now. It doesn't really, uh... Wait, what? Did I press? Hmm. Wait, what? Hello? Why, why, why is this happening? Oh, don't, oh, okay. I just, I just was moving ahead to look and... That, it's weird. Man, there we go. Ah, damn. It's fine though, death in this game is a slap on the wrist if you quick save proper. That's why that's why I don't usually cut unless like I completely forgot to quick save like, you know, way ahead of time. Can't open that up. Just keep making our way through. Keep keep making our way through this really weird like apartment complex. Anything in here? Got ourselves a Beretta. Nothing there. Nothing here. Alright. Let's make our way through. We know there's people here. I'm not going to action dive. I will do this, though. And that was a very poor choice. Let's, uh, round, round two. Let, let's, let's try a different strat, because that, that definitely wasn't a good strat. Damn. I should actually probably use slowdown, shouldn't I? Do I wanna? Let's try slowdown and see how that works. Oh yeah, that this, this is working so much better. That was way, way better. I haven't been using slowdown a lot just because I really haven't seen a like the need to do ago, it. But this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. I, th I thought that that was pretty okay. Go over here, take the pills. I should have took those pills earlier, but I I'm, I'm very stingy when it comes to healing items in old the games. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Yo, look, dude. Mountain Dew. It was dirty money. Alright, make our way through here. Get ourselves a cold drink. Cause you actually, do you actually get one? Yeah, you do. Nice. 
before I make it to the bar, I'm gonna take a quick detour in here and get some more painkillers, because I know the next room up ahead is a boss fight. It's a very, very wonky boss fight, but it is one nonetheless. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Hmm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Sorry, boys, I'm getting TOS based on that cutscene. Rest in peace. If I was better with my nade tosses, I could actually, like, hit that person behind the counter. One more. Oh, this is bad. Woo! Okay, we got the nade tosses. Wow, they're actually just all running in there. D you know what? I love early 2000s game AI. It, 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 it's so good. Take some pills. Since they all just ran out of their deaths, I think the only guy left in there is the dude himself. I think? Hello? Did they all run to their deaths? Are you fucking kidding? No, wait, no, he actually runs away. No, never mind. I was thinking to myself, there's no fucking way. You can actually kill him really early on if you... Just kind of, you know, abuse slow-mo, yeah. So you don't actually have to go through that this entire hallway right here. Oh, I have an Ingram now. SMG! SMG actually tears really hard. It just chews through ammunition like a motherfucker. That's where we're supposed to go, the but antique switchboard not was yet. still in use. Let's go over here. There's an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got nearly this Max Payne. It came, started capitalist. He killed him. Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. There's one thing I really love that they did for this game is all the, like, goofy voice actors that they got. I really like uh, all the, like, mock Italian, you know, gangster, uh, what's it called? Just voices. They're really funny. This is not the way to go, is it? Yeah, okay, it's up here, right? Yeah, this is the way to go, okay. Smokes? No, it's a slot machine. Uh, are there pills in here? I feel like there's pills in one of these stalls. No, this is just a bathroom. I understand. Take care of that guy from a distance. You may have shot me once, but I got more bullets than you. Man, look at all, like, I can't believe that there's, like, a little tiny-ass, you know, like, gambling thing in this, in this, like, rundown apartment complex. This is, like, God. It's old as fuck. Alright, we're supposed to go down there, if I remember. But we have to take it really slow. And by take it really slow, I mean just go down there and not, you know have any regard for our own life. Use our slow-mo to our advantage here, because slow-mo is really, really strong. I didn't mean to uh, go back, but I'll take it. Oh, there's one more guy. Hey, buddy. Any more dudes? Okay, there is. I don't know where you came from, and you killed me, so you did something right there. Awesome. That's fine. That is okay. Let's go about this a uh, different way. And by a different way, I mean do this. Damn, that didn't work how I expected it. Okay, third time's the charm, boys. Third time's the charm. Let's try this again.
Where are those guys coming from? Okay, they're coming from... Okay. This explains everything. Woo! Got him. Oh, look at that face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I actually can't believe that I died from that Molotov. Not that Molotov. I died because, you know, I messed up that Molly. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, it's fine, though. No pills, barely any health. Let us, uh, make our way to the exit. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to... Now we have to, uh, hit the exit switch, and now we can leave. Yeah, okay. There we go. Out into the New York street. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. So this right here is where we get to see like the Italian mob versus the Russian mob, and it's kind of like a small plot point in Max Payne 1, like... And it, it, it really isn't really brought up again until about Max Payne 2, but... In this one category, this is where you get to see it. It's funny. It kind of just wraps into, you know, the entire bigger plot of Max Payne. Yeah, I appreciate that scra that uh, scripted demolition there. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Yeah. You tell him, Max Payne. So, uh... Yeah. This is where we're gonna go ahead and, uh... End this video for now. I'll catch y'all later. You can just, uh... J j just admire the scene right there, and I'll, uh... I'll see y'all later.